Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been about a month since I've posted, <clears throat> and it's just because I've had a lot going on. There's been a lot going on in the communities, so I just wanted to update you guys on a couple things really fast before I get into this video. I now no longer identify myself as an age regressor or a part of the age community just because things kind of got heated in the community for a little bit. And it wasn't safe for my mental health with everything going around around me. So I am a non-community little, uh, safe for work non-community little. Um, I just have different tags for posts. And I don't exactly qualify what I do as regression anymore, more or less just focusing on recovering. I also started a new BPD medication um, two days ago, three days ago. And I also wanted to like update on that. I'm going to like update my experiences and stuff on TikTok and like how I'm doing. But as of right now, I feel no changes. So it's kind of like, we'll see how it goes. A lot of people ask like what all gear I have and like what do I categorize as gear. So I'm going to do a little tour into my gear. This most likely will end up being kind of a long video, so grab your snacks and your drinks and a stuffy and we're gonna get into it. I have pretty bad oral fixation issues in a whole, not just my small self. So I have quite a few chew necklaces, so I'm gonna start with that. So all of these I have gotten off of Amazon. I have a Lego and it's like textured on the back. And I really like the Lego just because it has like the textured on both sides. And like I have an Oreo as well and it's like really soft so it doesn't hurt my teeth some of them like will hurt my jaw because I have a sensitive jaw so I really like this one and then this little donut and this one's kind of hard so like you definitely have to break them in and they take quite a while to break in then I have like this little crystal almost like a gem and it's not textured or anything but it's like nice but again it's really firm then my caregiver bought me a pack of three. The blue one is upstairs because I keep it in the bathroom for when I shower. Are these little unicorn ones. And these ones are really, really like flimsy all already. But I really, really love unicorns. My entire room is pretty unicorn based. I mean, but they're just so cute. The pink one is definitely my favorite. Another big one of like my comfort items are like Comfort gear would be my passies, and I have quite a large collection now, so I'm gonna show some references. <laughs> this is my container of them now, um, so let me get into this. About a month ago, I did a passy collection video, and I think the last ones I updated were I had a bong dry shaker and um, the this one, which is also a dry shaker which this one to this day is still one of my favorites up until I got this other one. Before I get into that one, I also have gotten this one. Very, very, very nice friend of mine. Uh, their name is Shayla. They sent me this one. They made it themselves and painted it and it says magical. And I love this one so much because they have been one of my favorite creators in the Adrian community for a very, very, very long time. And I want a giveaway and they made me this and it's so precious and I absolutely adore it. And then my favorite one of absolutely all time is this bear shaker and it is a liquid shaker and it's my first one and I am absolutely obsessed with it and I put this little charm on it because it like it just fits it so well. So this one is definitely like a hyper fixation and it's not as heavy as I expected it to be so definitely I love it. Then I have this one that came with a clip that I have attached to my favorite one but it's still really nice for like chewing purposes so like but I wouldn't actually use it but I like it for oral stim and in my last passy tour video I said that I was going to modify all my mams like this one with an adult teat and um, I've done that so now I have the turtle and turtles are definitely like a comfort animal <coughs> for me and this little star one, and I'm really sad about this one because in the process of trying to take it apart, I broke the side. But it's still really cute. 
and then this little moon one that came with it and I put the little which now I wish I would have done it the other way around and actually put this one on the pink one but I didn't do it until after and then I have a bee which this is adorable and then a little cheetah and koala and a little zebra and a toucan so I have a modded all of my mams and I plan on getting more mams and adult teats to modify the rest that I buy and then I have one nook I have yet to be able to take apart so if any of you guys have any tips on how to modify a nook please give me the advice and when I took all of my other ones apart I had to buy replacement teats so I bought the colorful ones and then the pink one is attached to something I'm gonna show you guys later on in the video but the teats are like the candy gloss, little for big teats, and they're so cute and they look like candy. So I love them so much. Last but not least, my all-time favorite passy of all time. I got this, it is an adult soother. And I got it from an adult uh, 18 plus shop. So I cannot release the info of the shop name on here, but you guys have my socials you can private message me for the info on this just so I can make sure you're 18 but this is the most amazing thing ever because this is a little thinner and it's more firm and this is longer so it fits in my mouth better and then I put my unicorn on it so that I could find it at night because this is my sleeping one now so this is definitely one of my favorite items in my gear as of right now I have something like 49 50 adult pacifiers in total and the collection continues to grow because um I have a problem with buying and making them so but this one has saved me from buying a lot of them because I tend to use this one all the time because it's the most comfy in my mouth but I still really really like stuff like this so definitely need to stop spending all my money now I'm going to come to, over to the side of the room. The lighting's going to be a little terrible, but I can't bring them all over there because there's so many. So next I'm going to show you guys my bottles and sippy cups. So yeah. Okay, so first I'm going to show you the two that aren't clean because I'm currently using. So first would be this ma'am, and it is a ma'am bottle. It has little elephants and a rainbow and little clouds with stars. This one is definitely my favorite because like, the t like the nipple is like flat and it's one of the only baby sized bottles that the nipple is actually really comfortable in my mouth so I fell in love with this when I went to Meyer with my caregiver and I bought this because it, it it's just so cute next is my rear princess pink bottle this is definitely a favorite but it's glass so when I'm really, really small, it's kind of dangerous for me to be running around with this. So I tend to go more for like the first one I showed you. But this one is really, really, really convenient for not having to fill it up a lot if you fill it like more than I do. But it is so cute and it has like little princess and unicorns all over it. And the print is just, Rears has such adorable prints for their stuff. I'm going to just jump right into my baby bottles. So here's the other adult glass bottle I have. Um, it's the Safari by Rears. And I absolutely fell in love with this because of the giraffe. I love giraffes so much. So I had to get it. And when I was, fun fact about this bottle, when I was in quarantine with my caregiver, because we both had tested positive for COVID-19 like two months ago, this bottle ended up getting broken and I, um, he had to reorder it because they don't carry it on Amazon anymore and I had to get it on eBay. So we have to be careful with these ones. Next I'm going to show these two together which would be this little bunny one. I got it at like a dollar general or something or a family dollar. And this is a, just a yellow but this one came with the adult teat that I can switch out with any baby bottle. So I just put this one on there. But... I love the little bunny. I just love the little bunny. I think it's so cute and how the ears bent. So I had to get it. Then when I was at the dollar store like two days ago, I ended up getting this neon green one that has like letters on it with little shapes. And just the fact that it's neon green, like I, I, I just, I had to. It's like a comfort color and 
and it's like a triangular shape like it's not circular like normal bottles would be and this one I got yesterday with my caregiver at the dollar store and it's a little pink Winnie the Pooh bottle and it's so cute and he's sitting on a little mushroom and I was going to get all three of the Winnie the Pooh bottles I seen at the dollar store but I had to pick one so I picked this one <laughs> so definitely a favorite next I'm going to be showing you guys my Nook uh, sippy cups so the first ever one I got was this one. I got it, I believe, at like Walgreens or CVS. And I loved it so much because I had never seen a pink Nook sippy cup, like in stores. I always seen them on Amazon, so I picked this one up. And this one was my favorite for a very, very long time. Like a very long time. And I haven't used it in, in a while. Because my, like, my regression ages, like regress self ages... They seem to be more lenient towards younger age, and I want more of, like, bottles rather than a sippy cup. So I definitely need to pull these back out and use them again. Not too long after I got that one, I seen this one, and this one I got for sure in a Walgreens, because this is when I got my Axolotl. So I got this little B one. And this one was also a favorite for a while, but I always favored the pink one more. Because breaking these in and the texture of it kind of bothers me a little. But you just have to kind of chew on it. So this one is really cute. These ones are my favorite currently. So one of my friends sent me this one off of my wish list. And I literally am in love with it because it, it's, a little, it's a little horse and castle and it's like princess themed and it has little handles which I really like the handles on sippy cups so I'm more prone to using this one rather than the other two I want to find a bottle that I can get one of these for so I can have handles on the bottle but this one's really cute and another friend sent me this one off of my wish list this is from Sunny and I love it so much because Disney is one of my favorite things ever just in a hole and <laughs> It has Belle. I love Belle. I definitely want to find a sippy cup though with Pocahontas on it because Pocahontas is my favorite Disney princess. So that is a must, but definitely cute. Now these two I believe are Playtex or not sure what brand they are. I'm pretty sure they're Playtex, but I'm not 100% sure. So I have like this little Minnie Mouse and Daisy sippy cup. And I also have this one that goes with it. And I switch off the tops all the time. But I absolutely loved that they were both so similar. But the colors were different so I could switch out the tops. So I had to buy the pack of them. This is another handle one. This one is my specifically for chocolate milk only. Just because I don't like... Because sometimes if you leave it like overnight over and over if you sleep with it. It can make the cups really gross. So I take one that's specifically for that and only use it for that. So that's what this one is, and it's really cute because of the little handles, so I use it quite often. Now these two I know for sure play text because it says it right on the lid. I have this My Little Pony one that a friend sent me off of my wish list. I used to have another one that was just Pinkie Pie, but I left milk in it overnight and forgot about it for like weeks, and it was under my bed and I just threw it away. Then I have this little Paw Patrol one. Fun thing about this one is it has stars in it that, like, you can shake. So, just the sound is, like, really nice. But this one was, like, really expensive for no reason compared to all the other Playtex. I guess it's because of the inside, but I used to use it a whole lot more than I do now. Now, these two were my first ever sippy cups, and... They have been with me for a very long time. This one was the first one in specific. I need to soak these because a lot of them have just sat because I use the same ones pretty consistently. And then this one, which has a little straw, which I'm going to soak these in bleach, like all of them, because I haven't used them in so long and I don't want them to form bacteria. But 
this one I really liked because of the straw, but it didn't make me feel as small, so I ended up getting this one. And this one went with me everywhere, and it was the very first one, so it is very special to me. And then lastly, I just have this My Little Pony water bottle I've had since literally middle school. And it was one of the first things that I got that had really related to my regression and I kind of knew. So I got this and it has stuck with me ever since. I don't use it as much anymore, but definitely a favorite. I guess while I'm over here as well, something I also count as gear are things like this. So like this little cup, so like these dividers and stuff. Things like, like plates like this make me feel really small just because it like separates food and like you can put like little chicken nuggets and like ranch in here or something and I just find plates like this helpful for my eating disorders as well because it kind of portions it a little bit but at the same time I'm still encouraged to eat something because it's on the plate. Just like this little snack cup like I can and I have my little like yogurt melts and things and puffs in here and like it's like it's just the idea it makes me feel really small um if you guys didn't know my stuffed animals are a big part of my regression and a big comfort object to me definitely things with like a rattle i just got him yesterday and i love him so much and the sound makes me so happy i am definitely going to have to make a whole video dedicated to introducing my stuffies because this is only my bed Mind you, I have a huge pile on the floor over there where my tent used to be. So that will definitely have to be a whole video on its own. Anything can be categorized as gear. So coloring books, activity books, crayons, markers, your gaming system, stickers. Anything that makes you feel valid and small in your little space is something that is categorized as gear. Not everyone's small space looks the same. I just really fast before I go wanted to show this. This is this is Peaches. And I saved her at a thrift store and she rattles and has all these little attachers. And I put my pink one on there because I just figured it would be really fitting for this. But rattles and things like that are definitely like a big soother for me, so I love her. Other than that, that's all I can really show in this video because this video would end up being 20 minutes long if I showed everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.